Hey guys and girls, uh, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 45 of Valdez, the Ring Road City here in Skylines, City Skylines, where we created this area here that uh, is uh, directly connected basically to the space elevator. A lot of people are coming out here, going to the beach here and also walk through the parks to give me a lot of money and uh, yeah I made this beach in the previous episode and uh, actually it uh, it looks nice especially if you come in close like that you know you see people running into the beach in the, in the water etc all nice and well now um, in the previous episode I said like that we you know should have a look at the um, industrial area here with the unique factories so let's go there let's have a look a quick look but I have uh, actually other ideas because as far as I quick just at a quick gl glance I see like there's glass now finally here these guys are not complaining anymore they have glass uh, oh, they have glass these have glass these have now glass 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 was like a thing that oh there's a warehouse <laughs> these guys were complaining a little bit uh, these have no metals but anyway um, I don't see that many complaints. Yeah, here's a, somebody complaining also about metals, by the way. Okay, metals, metals. How about how about this one? Also, met, well, no, the animal products. Well, okay, next episode we are going to do that because I want to do now actually here on this side the residential part on this part of this island. So we have like a lot of people that can go there to the, you know, to the city park and, uh, you know, catch money mula, you know, how you, <laughs> you know how it works. So we need peeps here. Great. It's always nice to know. So in order to accomplish that, we need a, um, yeah, a connection point somewhere here. So let me first delete this road a little bit let me grab this road and the question is are we going to just make a t-junction here or a roundabout um, you know the thing the thing is if you have only residentials then traffic is not even that big it's usually the um, uh, the industries that make traffic big so I am inclined to say like okay just use a standard uh, road like this yeah and also to there 41 and then branch off there a little bit you know with a little bend like five by five that's enough going to there and then let's see where can this lead to maybe to nowhere five by five because it's it is a main road but that is all what it remains a main road and here it basically sort of ends just like that you know we can even press ctrl o and we can even say like okay you make like a you know tiny tiny bit, bit, bit little bit of roundabout there uh enter no like that yeah i mean nothing wrong with that right i mean just end of the line and here we grab this ro uh, road and we say we can go mm -hmm. also five by five and then there very close to the shore by the way I'm going to I am going to expand a little bit on that area a little just a little bit so we increase the brush size just a little bitchy 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 more land ambition more ambition more <laughs> in my toilet super class okay like that you know what I'm going to key wall the thing. Do not use this key wall, guys. This thing, as far as I know, I never, I, I, I did not hear anything about that this thing has been fixed, so you better not use it. So if you do, then you will increase your path units to the maximum limit, limit and then your city will grind to a halt. So my advice is don't use it. So I'm just key walling this around. This is not science work, just go from there there to there and then let's also bendy bendy around a little bit like that and then from here to there 
and we only go up to the beach like that and that and that up to there yep and then from here that's already at the beach and yeah that's all fine okay now we take the move it mod and we are going to select everything here like this and we align it control h with this, this central part Choop. so a few things might have changed other things didn't so the only thing we need to do now is like do a quick um, removal of dirt here on these sides like that so let me have let me make this a little bit bigger this area and then let me have a look and we're going to you know we're going to monkey around a little bit with with this island over here we're going to make this a little bit smaller in this water area a little bit larger like that yeah, yeah. so just a little bit you know even splitting the entire island i mean who cares nobody lives there just like that and then use the smoothie smoothie tool smooth that off smooth this part off yep like that uh ooh, yeah you will go on the water nice then remove the trees here no trees in the water and okay so let that fill up i mean that will do its thing let me remove a few trees here and now we can yeah we can create like a uh, an area where people can live so um a road what kind of road are we going to take this time something else maybe for a change i don't know we have two lane roads um how about this one this this one also has bicycle lanes that's nice i mean let's take that one yeah okay let's build this up you know just from let's say here we take it all the way to the edge and then we can go up to there and then from here we did not put a roundabout there okay um from here to there can we put a roundabout there zoink why not and then take this road again and we can i think we can even put it there yeah why not from there to there and actually from here yeah why not why not to there yeah nice 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 so uh where were we and let's get out of here close this and then we whoa that's the wrong button t uh t is for the pick a mod but the t and the y button are very close to each other so sometimes you press the y button and the y button is allocated to yeah a view from far above so i don't know who invented that idea but uh it's not helping <laughs> Uh, okay, you go there, and then you can go... Mm. Yeah, if this crossing becomes too heavy, then we can always change that. So, okay, fair enough. So, from here... So, we take a point from here to there, which is okay. And then from... Okay, we just, we just anarchy that through there like that and then we take this take it from there to there yeah sometimes you have to do that in order to get things done 20 that's okay we take it to, 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 to here and then from here to there right uh, we have some space left here to use to sort of uh, we don't want too many buildings on the main road if if possible not 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 one at all and from here to there well well <laughs> tempting you and then you uh, i'm wondering you know what the connection tool will do with that i mean this is like okay this is like interesting from, from there to there but i don't think that will that work <laughs> uh I haven't. Uh, uh. 
well that's like okay it's, it's a little bit dope uh, okay let's use this option say like okay control shift click it a click uh, say like uh, you you and you can pick your lane where's that other roundabout it's over there doing nothing only looking pretty <laughs> um, okay let's uh, let's create more roads then so we take this road and make it all the way go to there and this will be yeah, from there to there it's fine we can also have some smarty pants over here in this area that's okay you know with some IT clusters no no industries over here connect that up to there why not uh, it's a 10 up to there that's fine and then from this corner to roughly 10 yeah that's also fine we can make a pedestrian bridge there so that is also nice and now we have like s this road actually i'm thinking about it where's that water coming from oh i monkeyed around here with this water okay never mind it this road we can make it go over it and turn it uh, into this roundabout yeah why not it's kind of kind of interesting uh yeah but it will go that way like let's say a 10 by a an 8 that's enough this is like 7 so we make it a 14 and then we need to make it go down also 10 yeah 10 and then connect it up to this node which is not entirely straight that is a little bit of a bummer so let me do this differently uh, let me grab this road again where's that node here and if I do it like this and then we take a corner from here this is a 4 by 6 it's also 10 that works out nicely yeah is that connected yeah like that and okay let me also use this control shift click a little bit uh, counterintuitive because there is no other road connected to it but we can still do that you know why not so we have that roundabout so we take it from here to there and from here we can go to let's say there we make a four by four and we connect it up there and then here in the middle I think it's not entirely perfect this it's 19 ah okay so in that case we will make mm, yeah, something like this and then we take a road from here like that and then we alternate them basically um, I don't like if they come from here and then take a left turn so I will make a road coming from here also and then going to there yeah I think that will do for now I mean road building costs a lot of time as you noticed and um, we also acquire some some stuff around here let's say let's begin with the schooling situation because high school university let's start with some you know simple elementary schools um, what are we going to use we're earning a ton of money so let's mm, let's not waste it <laughs> let's just keep it simple with the elementary school <coughs> so we place that one over there and one over and let's see over there and then we take the standard uh, or this one now there's a high capacity university oh, and do we have another form of a high school aside from this phoenix one um, how about this one that's also an elementary school, elementary school, elementary school. And this is the modern, an alternative, no. This is an alternative to the high school. Yes, I want to have this. Oh, it's kind of large. Yikes. Uh, okay, where to put this thing then? Not there because, mm, no, no, no. Oh, here it's okay. That's fine, yeah. <coughs> And here it can be on the mm, or here no not there here I think yeah here will be fine yeah yeah it will be fine great so we need some 
parking? I don't know. Are these roads with or without parking? I think these roads are parking. No, there are no parking availability here. That means like I have to input all these little parking lots because I have the parking AI enabled in TMPE. Means like that basically everybody who you know goes somewhere needs to find an actual parking lot. If not, then they will keep on driving until they find one. I have chosen for that method uh, to avoid the so-called uh, pocket car issue, because then people just drive to a destination, you know, they grab their cars from their pockets and that's it. Now, if they go somewhere, that's not really an issue, but if they come back, then it's like, oh my gosh, you know, that's like, a, the, yeah, that's a drama try out try the same thing you know with a space elevator or with a train station as you might have seen I don't know if you have seen it already in my um, vanilla town um, you can see there at the train line at the train station that all these uh, cars are piling up basically and uh, yeah that's uh, when people are taking their cars with them in their pockets you know pocket cars you know th those are like a disaster Okay, that's that part, and then we are taking the policing thing, police station. Let's put it here on this outer side, it's nice, and one here also on this outer side. They can go anywhere, and also the fire station. I like this building. It's kind of big, but it's also not so expensive. I never like expensive buildings <laughs> because this Anjo fire station cost only 50 per week and if I would put this thing down there look 1200 per week so you know you also have to think a little bit financially about the whole situation right 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 uh, then the zoning okay zoning we're going to I am saying it again the district thing Let's say we are going to, I, I, what I want actually is the wall-to-wall -wall buildings, yeah. I really love those, I, I really love those things. I also love those ones with the, um, the greenery stuff, you know, the, the eco-friendly uh, buildings, but the wall-to-wall -wall buildings also give like this, I don't know, this sort of vibe, nice vibe. And I, I want that in this area, so we're going here and we say, wall to wall and if we have any of the office yeah that's difficult uh, because we do also wall to wall and any commercials <laughs> we also make them wall to wall yeah then we have everything right 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 uh, is, yeah it's still a little bit dark so let me put this a little bit back for a little bit more light thank you now let's um, um, I don't know, wall-to-wall -wall buildings were not that high, right, in high density, I'm not sure anymore, so let's put them here, Kishing. let's put a bunch here, let's put also a bunch here, now I am going to dot around a few offices here and there, for, you know, that's, that's like easy for work, like a building there, and a building there, and a building there, and well maybe move this one place a building there uh, a building on this corner is fine and also here next to that parking lot that's fine yeah now what we also need is a little bit of entertainment and this little city park does really do the trick now what i find pity is that i cannot see the zoning that i placed so yeah, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, oh, I can put it next to there, that's fine, and now I don't know if, for example, I place the zoning here, oh, I already put something there, okay, you go there, and here, I think next to that fire station is fine, and here, I have no idea, I just place it, uh, also, let's grab a dog park, and put it right over there. Yeah, and then here I don't think that I did anything yet. 
with the zoning so a dog park there and a dog park there they have a solid radius of uh, entertainment so that is all fine now let's have a look here on this side uh, let's, let's zone this place up so we have all like a residentials a residentials and even more residentials and they are <coughs> will all be wall to wall and uh, you know also few working spots so there and there that's okay and then there there so I don't want any filthy industry in this area especially here near the crossing you can better have like a whoa I don't like that um, you can better have like a, you know an office than a, let's say a commercial building because offices don't cause too much traffic an office building over there right uh, they can also use one over here so this is mute um, yeah remove this yep you there remove this um, yeah this is okay this does okay this is fine there's an office building over there we put one over there as well uh, we are getting somewhere guys we are getting somewhere an office building over there including these guys not so close to the roundabout that's like blasphemy to do that and here more of these more 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 that's all fine because we want more people in the city right I mean this city needs to grow uh, beyond the 300,000 if possible so here we can create more of these buildings and you know the more I build these guys eventually they will fill up yeah so okay let me have a look here a residential building can be placed there and there as well this whole section can be done uh, and then here yeah this area as well not there here's fine here's also fine well that will take a while before that is completely filled up and trees yes that's okay also here on this main road is fine this whole section is fine this section is fine this section is fine now regarding the commercial part of this uh, area I want uh, that that we have like something coming in like I don't know uh, cargo ship maybe or a train line that I still have to figure out and because these people want to shop naturally and also you know the the stuff that is being brought in here um, yeah needs to come in somehow I don't know it's like somewhere here so I'm thinking about making use of one-way roads that works usually best uh, that will be then this road and we take it from here bring it all the way to there right um, and also going to there yeah I have sort of an idea what I want so we make a 4x4 four four bend oh, come on you go there yeah and now here I want to let's see yeah, this is the proper place so we connect that up to there and we connect these two up four by five that is perfectly fine and this one we dive down 12 by 12 can we do that yep and then we take this all the way to the other side like that let me see where are we now yeah we are here and here we bring it up again 12 by 12 like that uh, yeah so here we getting to the other side to there and the key thing is like you know take the space for this kind of stuff if you don't then you create like gobs of traffic and then you will be unhappy the rest of your life and it's, then it's even doubtful you will even buy city skylines too <laughs> you never know you never know you never know 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. We are going to do something else here. We're going to make a uh, 4x4 down here. A little bit. A little bit that way. And then a 4x... Oh, come on. 4x... Gee! Okay, 5x5 five five then. Okay, you win. There, but we have this roundabout here, so you can go there, and then from here we take it to there. Don't worry, I will flip it around. Yeah, flip the flipper, and then this thing we bring basically back to here. So that will be a pretty busy uh, place eventually. So we do a four by four there. Now let's have a look here because this goes down. Um, how are we going to do this? Uh, can I can I put it on the ground? That's the question. Can I put this here on the ground? Then I cannot make a roundabout. That's for sure. Hmm. Let's say eight. Let's be a little bit creative. Because why not? So. Let's think. Mm, okay, let's bring this up to an eight. So this is like, how far away is this? A four, okay, an eight. Oh man, that's snapping. <coughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, so you go eight by eight. Yeah. So that was a little bit out of my my own wrists uh, this is like doable because I can always monkey around with the move it mod and then from here I can take it down I suppose from there to there the 10 home yeah and we can bring that together Whoa, yeah, yeah, something like that and then here you go four by four and to there perfect flip around uh, flip around and flip around and we have like a lot of troubles around here <laughs> oh my gosh what do i get myself into why do i have a, what is wrong here we are going here from a th uh, six lane suddenly to a four lane why is that me no compre comprehend it it's like okay let me change that i don't know why i did that so this is the main road coming into that junction over there so let's keep it that way um here i could say use three lane roads um they are here you have like you know a lane for everybody to get out so let me grab this one and say like a you are the main road nobody crosses here nobody crosses here nobody crosses here nobody crosses there or there there or there and also here no crossings and voila we have like sort of a place that goes around and now we have also an area where we can put basically um, commercial commercial areas now what do commercials need yes indeed they need uh, commercial zone goods now if we implement later on a harbor over here that can lead into here so in essence you would require a, a warehouse and what I can do before I actually do it is already make sure that that warehouse will be there so I can take this so this is a temporary solution for now so we do this and then that and then I grab the warehouse so this will be different in the next episode so we grab these warehouses so one and two yeah and we fill them up with commercial zone goods because that commercial zone area over here will need those and here we will then put like the harbor that will bring it to them yeah okay let's do something about this ground it's looking a little bit 
zoinky. That's uh, yeah, that's okay. I know this is pretty close uh, by now, but it's only to fill up these guys. You no, know, I have, you know what I'm going to do? I put this to fill, fill, fill. So even before putting any zoning, uh, commercial zoning around here, I will not do anything yet. I'm not building any zoned area, only commercial, uh, um, residential areas. In combination with some office buildings, we do have some demand for industrial stuff. So I can say, like, okay, you go away, put you there, and here. I rather leave this alone. I rather place those, you know, those those uh, offices on strategic places uh, where where you don't want to have to where you don't want to have too much traffic. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? What is this? Yeah. Okay. So, for example, oh, this is a mess. Okay, we remove that. Remove that. Just put a smaller building there. That's fine. And for the rest, let me have a look. Where can we implement more of that stuff? Well, here is fine. There we already have one. Here we have already two. I think this is not bad at all. Let's place also one over here because we do have the, um, you know, the requirement. So, okay, we put that there. Put one. Whoa. Okay, so we put them yeah, like that. So yeah, so that you know, I let the game run for a while and hope that I don't get any traffic uh, infarcts or whatsoever towards this region, and then I have also time to think the cargo harbor issue over here, how to construct it. You can already see that. Uh, stuff is being delivered to these things you know these all these cargo things they are all going to the warehouse yeah, medium warehouse medium warehouse medium warehouse they bring all kinds of stuff there so that's all that's all nice that's all pretty well swish and actually i'm i'm not sure but commercial zone goods because we have also the unique factories uh, running around there. Uh, yeah, so we're taking a small one like this one. You know what? And we're going to fill that up with unique factory products because we have them. Fill. And let's see if that that definitely will help. Yeah. So we leave it at that for this episode, episode 45. And then in the next episode, we. Uh, well this will be more filled up because like i said i will let it run for a while and i let these things fill up and then i have concocted up with a plan about building up this cargo harbor area over here and i don't know maybe somehow how can we get cargo in by airplane maybe maybe we can utilize this island somehow or make an artificial island it's like yeah it's like, yeah well we will see what uh, what we will do anyway guys and girls thank you for watching uh, episode 45 for now this will keep on building and i will see you soon again in episode 46 yeah we're going fast up to 300,000 people okay thank you for watching and until next time see you bye bye